Merry Christmas and good morning. So I am thrilled. I am somewhere in New Jersey right now on a road trip with my guy and we are on our way to Pennsylvania to pick up our Corgi puppy. So I have wanted a Corgi for a good year. I've been researching and dreaming and I had no idea that this was happening today. I woke up and I opened up my presents for Christmas and they were dog wee wee pads, a um, little harness and a, a leash. And I was like, what? And then he said, we're going today to get your Corgi. And here we are. I'm not gonna make this about the road trip. I know that's not why you came to this video, whether you're my usual subscribers or you're a random person that is as, as obsessed with getting a corgi as I am. Um, so I'm just gonna cut to us being basically on the street of the breeder and go from there. This is Vincent Van Gomez, our little corgi puppy that we just got. Come here, boo-boo. He's the cutest thing. He's a little scared right now. So I'm gonna have to go, but I will see you tomorrow with more. Little Vinny, little Vinny, little Vinny. <laughs> You're thirsty. a day has gone by since I said I would see you tomorrow. Um, it's been so much. So uh, Vincent is doing really well. Um, he is, uh, wow, it is, a, it is a whirlwind to get a puppy. I swear it's like becoming a mom. I am like a crazy dog mom. Um, yeah, your, your whole schedule changes. You have to, um, you know, you have to give them a ton of exercise. You have to play with them a ton. You have to, you know, he's a very picky eater, which I read corgis can be very picky eaters. We've had to switch his food quite a few times um, and have finally found one that he seems to like. Um, but it has been amazing. He is the best little boy. He's so smart. He's learning like tricks right away. Like he can sit, stay and come on command. And he's only 13 weeks old now, so he's very smart. Um, he's doing pretty well with the potty training. We have the wee wee pads, um, you know, on the in the apartment, and have just been telling him um, to use them. And then I'm also taking him out, and he's using the outdoors as well. I think it's really important when you first get a puppy to put them on a schedule, and I need to be a little bit better about that, which I will starting tomorrow. Um, but yeah, like when do you take them out for the first time and then when do you feed them and then when do you take them out again and making sure that you're giving them all their proper exercise and playtime, but like in a way that's structured. We've been doing pretty good, me and Vinny, um, figuring that out, uh, but I'm still learning. I've never owned a dog that was my dog before. I've been around dogs and I had a dog like as a kid, but this is my first dog that's like, I'm the, I'm the dog mama, you know? So it's been a lot of, of learning for me. We took him to his first vet visit, um, uh, like I wanna say about four or five days after we got him, which I was so anxious about. I felt like I was going into surgery or something. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, but the, the vet we found is awesome. And he's so healthy. He's like perfectly healthy. And the vet was really impressed by his like structure and his friendliness and he just, um, yeah, he was, he did really, really good at the vet. The past week has just been getting adjusted to having a puppy and making sure he's doing well and that, you know, we're getting to know each other. Uh, I have like a vision for how I want him to be as a grown corgi. 
I want us to be able to go on long walks together and just be like each other's buddies and um, I want him to be healthy and handsome and oh my god I'm such a dork. I feel like we're going in that direction. Um, I did have some work last week. I went back in and did more of um, Helping Hedgehog. It's actually called Busy Fingers but for you guys I'm going to keep calling it he Helping Hedgehog. But I went back in and did more of that um, which was a total blast. Here's a few clips from that. Oh, what are they? <laughs> Fireflies. Wow! Look at the big one! <laughs> it's on a tree! It's on a flower! Mm. <gasps> oh! It's on my nose. And so I've wrapped that project, which I've grown so much from that as a voiceover artist. And actually I have another opportunity to potentially do another audiobook. It's for like a young adult romantic novel um, through this website called Audio Creation Exchange. I think that's ACX. It's actually a really good opportunity if you're a voiceover artist. Um, you can go, you can create a profile and then go on there and audition to be the narrator of an audiobook. I auditioned for an audiobook many months ago, like I want to say six months ago, and um, didn't get it. But the author of that book ended up reaching out to me and asking me if I would audition for her latest book, which is going to be a part of a trilogy. Pretty cool. So I just submitted that audition about 10 minutes ago. And luckily, I exhausted Vinny because I was a little nervous, like, all the readjusting. You know, I do a lot of voiceover work from the apartment um, and a lot of self-tapes just as an actress. And I was worried that, you know, he would be his little bouncy puppy self and how would I control, you know, him. I want him to have a lot of energy, but I want, him, I want to know how to make him calm, too. Well, the secret is just give him a ton of exercise and get him exhausted. And then he's literally not made a peep for the past like three hours, which is amazing. Here, I'll, I'll show you him. Look at him, he's just completely out like a light. <laughs> so cute. So that's been really good. I am on a, uh, f what's called a first refusal, uh, which is pretty much like a hold, but looking like I booked it for a commercial. Uh, a really fun, quirky uh, office type. I mean, it's all it's all my usual stuff. But the commercial is pretty like it's it's another it's a higher profile commercial. Uh, a higher profile casting director cast it, and uh, yeah, I felt great about the audition. Really fun. I love that kind of stuff. What else? So much has happened. It's like, and I, I I'm sorry. I've been like M I M I A on my vlog, um, but I've literally, the holidays were a lot and obviously getting the puppy and some other stuff happened. This vlog is such a mix of like personal life stuff and career stuff to talk about. Um, I promise I'm gonna get on a, a proper vlogging schedule this year, 2018. <clears throat> I need to have, uh, I know I need to have there be more structure there. Definitely want to at least do videos twice a week hopefully three times a week. Towards the end of the, you know, the season before the holidays, I had a really great meeting with my new agent from Affinity Artists, um, the one that I got towards the end of last year, and she is awesome, and we're so on the same page with my career and the kind of work that I want to do, and um, she's going to send me out on a lot of LA opportunities, which is amazing. Um, we kind of talked about how I really fit the sort of quirky sitcom aesthetic that's happening out in LA. Um, and so she's going to help me to get seen for those opportunities as well as all of the New York things as well. So Christmas and New Year's were both amazing. I'm really glad that it's the new year. Happy 2018. And everything is back in action. All the casting offices are open and all everything is just back. It's I get a little bit restless, although I had my hands full with Vinny this season, but I usually get pretty restless in that weird 
holiday like chasm big word where it's like nothing's happening yet because it's the end of the season but you didn't go anywhere and so you're just like home just thinking too much I'm glad that everything is back in action so anyway that's I'm gonna I'm gonna let me pick up Vinny and show you him a little bit more oh he's so sleepy I don't know that I'm gonna get oh, that much video of him but he's my little sweetheart. Look at his little face. Oh, oh, oh I know. You're so tired. You're so tired, honey. If any of you are thinking of getting a corgi, I highly, highly recommend it. They're such good dogs. Um, yeah, just... <laughs> Can you see his little face? Yeah, they're really, really, really good dogs. Um, really smart, really loving. The perfect balance of being incredibly playful where you can like run around with him, but then like a little mush, super cuddly. He slept in our bed the first few nights we had him because <laughs> he would cry and I just couldn't take it. But he's gotten a little bit better the past few nights. He's been sleeping on the floor like a big boy. And I've accepted that. But yeah, you know, definitely kind of stressful, but totally worth it. I've always wanted a corgi, so I'm so, so, so happy that I have him. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, and uh, one more thing that happened while I was away. I'm engaged! What? I'll talk about it more next time but he's my soulmate and the love of my life and I'm really happy so that's why I've been gone pretty much because my my life my heart and my head have exploded from all of the awesomeness that has gone down I I have dreamed about both the corgi and becoming engaged to my guy um and so to, to have both those things come true is like really anything is possible and it I'm letting it inspire all the other things that I want and um I hope that that inspires you guys for all the things you want you know really be uh intentional with what you want you know write it down or make a vision board or you know whatever it is but just like honestly make it very clear to yourself and always be looking at it because the clearer you are about what you want um I don't know it just seems like the more you're, you're putting it out there and then you get it so all right that's it I'm gonna leave you guys with that <laughs>